Hi, my name's Helen. I'm from the ABP Southampton Half Marathon and 10K. Um, it's nice to be able to introduce the Schools Challenge to our event next year, which is going to be on the Saturday. And um, I'm very proud um, to introduce Spring Hill Catholic Primary School um, as they're going to be our first um, school to sign up for the School Challenge. And I have Mike here with me today and just wanted to say brilliant news. Thank you. Great to have you on board. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, any sort of event that's going to enhance the uh, showing how, how important uh, sport is for the children, we always try to get involved in. So delighted to be involved in the event uh, for next um, next April. Um, hopefully, lots of children will be taking part in the sport, the school challenge on the Saturday, and there'll be a few of us joining in the the, the ABP 10K run on the, the following day as well. Excellent. Well, in the school, there's uh, 660 children, so a fairly large school. Uh, we've got 90 in all year groups, 100. 20 in our foundation stage um, so it takes a lot of managing and uh, lots of children to try and get involved with sport but uh, I think we do manage that and uh, through lots of opportunities and obviously things like the, the fun run um, in, in April can only be of benefit to the children as well. I mean we value um, sport very highly here at um, Spring Hill, we take part in lots and lots of competitions, uh, we've done really well over the last three years, in that period we've been voted the Key Stage 2 School of the Year uh, for three years running uh, we've won uh, lots and lots of trophies had lots and lots of variety of children taking part in a huge diversity of sports, um, so we're very very proud of their achievements, I think last year was probably the best ever so this year we're trying to looking to um, match that level and, and try and beat it as well so i had some information come through um, last week about the abp um, southampton's uh, sports challenge uh, school challenge and um, really excited now that spring hill are the first uh, school to have signed up for this event we're going to get some teachers involved in the 10 kilometer run and hope as many children as we possibly can for the actual school challenge on the day before on the saturday well, I'd love to do the half marathon, but slightly out of shape, so I'm going to do the 10k. Um, I've managed to get two or three teachers uh, joined on board with me as well, so really looking forward to it, hopefully lead by example for the children. Yeah, in addition, I will be taking part in the one mile run um, on the Saturday. We'll hopefully get some of our younger children there as well. Uh, we've started advertising already, um, events like this as well, uh, where we can get the children practicing, can't do any harm and um, so hopefully have a big turn out there on the Saturday as well for the one mile uh, challenge. Well we try and lead by example by getting children involved in sport um, here at school. Obviously they have their literacy and their numeracy but sport uh, is very important for them as well um, to burn off their energy and to stay healthy and to stay fit as well. Uh, we also try and um, provide opportunities for children at weekends to join up with local clubs. We have good links with local football, rugby, tennis clubs as well. It gives them that extra opportunity to practice their tennis skills over the weekend as well. Um, in addition to that we run a huge variety of after school clubs here at the school and that uh, gives those children opportunities to um, practice those as well after school. So if you're interested, you or your school, in taking part in the Schools Challenge next April, uh, log on and sign in on www.schoolschallenge.co.uk.